Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lena. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, coming in with this goddamn empire, listen, Lee Daniels. You gotta come better than that, Mike. With all the skit that you were in competition with and with the skit that Jussie did, we don't know. Yeah. You you got the comp. You, we you gotta got pick to come the pace up, it. man. This week I was expecting to come off the heels of what happened with Andre last week. Mm -hmm. And the next time I see Andre, he getting a briefcase as a gift, ready to go back to work. Yeah. So So we used to forget about the bloody nose. They almost had an they accident. They passed almost, out in the middle of the street. Almost got killed in the middle of the street, Mike. My grandma said I almost got killed it up. I mean, what? So you doing a tile on us, man. Don't 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 go down that same street. It's it's not a good look. Yeah. And it don't end well. No. Nah. But we're going to hit Andre right here since we already talked about it. Andre got something going on, but we don't know what's going on. And later on in the episode... When do Andre not have something going on? Just to answer that question. He always got something going on. But his doctor got some lab work back late. You know how it is. You get that. You get the, mm, oh, you're doing good. Then they call you back. Be like, we, we sent off a few more tests to That's go back to the is. lab. And they came in the day we're going to need you to come in the morning. That's when you know some skit just got real. <laughs> so Andre got that telephone call and he got to go see his doctor in the morning. So hopefully next week we get to see the doctor in the morning. But I think he originally was lying about the first report he that was, he told, told old girl. But it wasn't that bad because the doctor didn't call him in. Yeah. But, you know, his pressure probably was up. Sugars or something like that. He ain't been taking this medication, man. <laughs> That's the problem. So, In Love and Virtue was the title of the um, episode, right? So, Cookie is still not feeling Lucius right now because she's in this whole, okay, what we did, we did off the backs of everyone else by hurting everybody else. We sold drugs. We did what we had to do. Yes, we came up on top. But now, I ain't about this right now. We need to do <laughs> we, something different. We're reaping what we sow. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't like the reaping process. Yeah. So, Lucius was like, hold on, Cookie. Hold on. What we're not going to do is not act like we won't in this grind together. And we <laughs> did the dude to death. He said, so you judging me now? <laughs> That's how you feel, though. But ain't it the same way, like, see, what happened was, Cookie went down there to that revival service. Yeah, that's how she I She got work. saved. That's how it worked. Now, all of a sudden. She, everybody need to change now. <laughs> and you, she didn't do the same skit that you did. But we did it together. But all of a sudden, because I changed that, you got to change. And your thoughts got to be my thoughts. Yeah. That do mess you up though, man. And Lucius was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, when somebody in your circle all of a sudden, they had an awakening. Now everybody need to have an awakening. Yeah. <laughs> all y'all need to wake up. <laughs> we ain't scared. Uh -huh. You ain't scared. You ain't scared. <laughs> y'all need to get y'all life to the law. And one of your good friends be like, you remember you won't skit yesterday and you ain't skit today. So how is you judging? Me. <laughs> so that's what Lucius was like, hold on, where did all of this come from? So back over there at Empire, because you know we, we got our Empire back, right? So Finally. basically at this moment, he's having a focus group because now he needs to hear the raw truth for what everyone in the public, how they view the company, how they view them, and how they view they view the future of Empire, right? So I appreciate the people that they got in the focus group because they gave zero bucks. They gave it to them straight. They was like Man, ever since, ever <laughs> since they didn't have Empire no more, we got baby mama drama. Uh -huh. We got new babies in the street. The, the, the music ain't <laughs> right. It don't sound right. I mean, everything is whack. It's soft. Lucius had had enough. He came from behind the glass. And then everybody tried to, in the words of Funky Dineva, they tried to back Ellen and pussy pop it. It was yeah. like, oh, Lucius, we know what I said about that. I ain't mean none of that. Is Cookie back? Cookie, you know you my dog. You know I love you. No, you said what you said and when you meant, you meant what you said. said. Yep. Stand, Stand in your yep. skin. Stand by it, man. <laughs> now, look them there in their eye and be like, your music is bucked up yeah. right now. Fix it. <laughs> so Lucius was like, you know what? We did a whole lot. We did a whole lot, and now we got to earn y'all trust back. We're going to make this thing work, and we're going to do what we got to do. So then Cookie was like, you know what, Lucius? We're going to bring Empire back. We're going to make it do what it do. And he was like, oh, what's the sudden change of heart? Yeah. She was like, this is half of my company, too. So hold on, Cookie. You ready to do something strange for <laughs> something strange for a little piece of change? Because what, now. What, well, Lucius knew something was up her sleeve. Yeah. With that sudden change like that. Yeah. 
So we get back over there to Empire and we're having a live corporate articles of incorporation being set up basically. Yeah. You know, everybody's getting back in position, so there's no who 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 we know who's in charge of what. Like like Dineva said, who's in charge of the girls? That was in charge of the girls, that was in charge of the girls, that was in charge of the girls. So we come to find out that um Kingsley bucked up the church's money. Big time. Big time. And we already knew that Eddie Barker had bucked up the church's money. Mm -hmm. And Giselle had even tried to uh, the ante. She tried to get the money. Well, she said, I tried to get my money back from over there at the Panaman Panamanian Bank. Didn't nah, work. Didn't work. But uh, she nah. said, I mean, our money. I mean, <laughs> Empire's money. <laughs> so now they're trying to figure out, okay, what do we have to do to get our money out of these banks? Because right now we broke. Yeah. We need some Can't skin. Can't two nickels for and, Yeah, we need some skin in the game. So <clears throat> we see Lucius talk to Thirsty. And he told Thirsty, he said, listen, homeboy, what I need you to do, I need you to set up a meeting with Damon Cross. Thirsty said, whoa, 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 whoa. pump no, your brakes. No. Anybody but him. I said, yeah, they ain't a good. I was like, Thirsty is coming to get somebody, talking to somebody, talking, working out a deal? I said, oh. so I said, oh, Damon Cross must be the business, bruh. And he said, why Damon Cross? And he <laughs> was like, back at that, um, that card game, I like the way he moved. So I know that he can get the job done. Thirsty was like, of all people, as That's your wonderful. lawyer. Unless your lawyer, I advise you not. And Lulu, I, said, and, and Lulu said, as your employer, <laughs> I'm telling you to set up the maiden. And freaking Thirsty ain't never advised Lucius them against nothing. I said, oh, okay. So we had this meeting. And immediately, Cookie was like, Oh, I've met you before. I met you at the Moet. Lulu said, when did we go to the Moet? She said, oh, not, not me and you. you. I went to the yeah. Moet and I met you. David Cross was like, I'm oh, sorry. But I don't remember you. I yeah. don't remember you. I said, boo, So shit. I said, okay, this mm -hmm. is game. Yep. So then they were like, you know what? <clears throat> we're going to need somebody from Empire to go to Panama. Right now, Lucius ain't the person that's going to be able to do it because he got a whole lot of meetings that he needs to be <laughs> present for. Um, doesn't look good for Giselle to go because Giselle is the ex-wife of Eddie Barker. Mm -hmm. So, they ain't gonna so work. who else to take but Cookie? And Cookie was adamant about going. I'll go. And Lucius was like, are you sure? She said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you're up for the challenge... You will have me, right? And Damon Cross said, well, I'm always up for a challenge. And Lulu, he gave a side eye like, uh -huh. this some skit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, oh, you better put your good eye on old Damon Cross on for that. And he always looked like he up yeah. to something. I don't yeah. care what he plays in. He, he always yeah. looked like he is up, up to something. Yeah. yeah, like he no, no good. Yeah. yeah, and he got them Eddie Kane hands too. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Watch with how he do his hands. His hands look yep. just like Eddie yeah. Kane. Nice like this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Ray with what? Oh. So, Andre, because you know he done went back to work. So, Andre ends up bumping into Devon. Devon was like, you know what? I'm not real happy right now with what's going on over there at the label that I'm signed up under. I want to come over here and do a hit with Empire, but they won't allow me to do so. So, so Andre like, man won't let me go. <laughs> with some respect <laughs> on his name. So, Andre was like, you know what? You know, maybe I'll have a little chitty chat with your label and we'll see what we can work out. So later on, we see that Devon and Andre ended up going over there talking to the old boy. So old boy was like, you know what? What would it look like for me to allow my artist to go over there to Empire and make a hit with y'all before he even did skid over here? I said, true. Say, so like I'm getting sloppy seconds. And I said, okay. And then he said, plus... The future of R&B is not up for sale. I said, you sure you could have sold? You could have fooled me. But anywho, so Andre was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and sweeten the pot right here. So he pulled out a whole bunch of money, put it on the table. Old boy looked like he was about to go for it, right? Yeah. And he started smiling and he was like, you know what? The one thing about the samurai is this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. So Andre was like, you know what? Go ahead and keep that money and think, think about, about it, it. Mm -hmm. and get back with me. And they both walked out. And I said, I said, this this went a little too smooth because this ain't the Andre that just got out of prison and jacked that white dude up. But it is the Andre. But it is the Andre. <laughs> <laughs> 
So later on, he just didn't want to. He didn't want to do that skit in front of the vault. Nah, he didn't want to scare the boy off. Yeah. Yeah. He he in the church. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want him to pray his demons away. I need these demons to do what I need to do. So Andre said, I'm coming back, me and my demons, mm -hmm. by ourselves, so we could execute this plot. Hey. So Andre came back, and he was talking to old boy, and he told old boy, you know, basically, what you thought about the, the proposal that I gave you earlier. Homeboy still ain't trying to move. Andre started putting them gloves on, and I said, dude. It's like, you see him putting them gloves on? This is an opportunity <sighs> to run. To get up out of there. Run. So Andre goes over there and he pulls out a sword from the what did he, what did he name that thing? I can't remember what it, you know what I'm talking about. A samurai. It's a samurai, but he gave it a it's, it's a name for it. Whatever. Whatever. It so don't he even pulled the sword out of it, right? Like Mike B. And he was matter. like, and so old boy decided he was gonna charge Andre. Andre was like, uh, 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 this ain't what you want. And I started studying the samurai. And you lack certain abilities of the samurai. I mean, he just started reading the poor boy <laughs> all the way down. And told the old boy, saying, you know, I talked to your ex-wife. And I know you got a whole lot of money problems. Because from the call girls and the boys. I said, wait a minute. Said, wait a minute. Yeah, and old boy was like, you know what? You know what? Andre just started dismembering the dead on that. Chopping that samurai right up, buddy. Shoot him. <laughs> and then when he was getting ready to just cut him right at the waist, he was like, I'll sign it, I'll sign it. But at first he was like, you know what, I'll let him record with everybody. He said, no, that was the offer this morning. Morning. No, I want him, he want, I, I want, want him out of right the now. contract. Homeboy was like, I'll sign it. He signed the thing. <laughs> and Andre went on by this business. Devon was like, yo, my label, let me go. He was like, I'm like Devon. You ain't, you, you ain't, ain't that green. You, nah, yeah, you ain't that green. You know good and well. It didn't happen that easy, Mike. Andre said, what did he say? But, but he don't know Andre yet, though. Yeah. Yeah. He but don't he, know Dre. Yeah. He told me, he said, you know what, Devon? They decided to do the right thing. <laughs> and went on by his business. I said, you know what, Andre? Stop your foolishness. <laughs> so, um, at Empire, I forgot to tell y'all, Andre had gave Lucius the five-year plan. And <laughs> Lucius like, buck a five-year plan. I don't got five years. I year. need the money right here and right now. I feel Lucius on that, though. Yeah, if but I if you, But if you, take, if you go back and check your history, check your Facebook, your Instagram, or whatever thing you can use to check back time, five years go by like that, though. Last year is a blur. Yeah. I, like, yeah. I, I don't even... You last yeah. year is a blur. And so far, this year been a blur. Blur. <laughs> a blur. Yeah. I mean, we three months into the year. We get ready to go in the fourth month of the year. Already, we just got started. And I'm like... What? So, it actually ain't a long time. It really ain't a long time. So, over at Empire now, everybody's trying to get in their positions and do what they need to do. So, Jamal is over there having a conversation with Tiana, telling Tiana, listen, I need a strong female vocal on mm -hmm. this record. I need her to do this. I need her to do You the person for the job. Let's let's bang it out. Let's do it. Well, Miss um, Treasure had heard that he was you know, searching for some female talent. And what she decided to do, which pretty genius. She decided that she was gonna put her vocals on and mix it with a song that he yeah, had already, already done. Did. Yeah. So that he can hear how she sounds with a mix of hit. It was genius. Yeah. And she was like, you know, when you need a real female vocalist. I'm like, don't do it. Come talk to me. And I said, that ain't what you, that, that ain't how you do she it. She may sound good, but that's not the energy that you need. Yeah. And she went about it the wrong way. So now that done created friction between her and Tiana. They're on the red carpet. And, um, yeah, moving real forward. On the uh -huh. red carpet. And they got into a cat fight oh. over a position. That none of y'all ain't got right now. Cause Andre, I mean, I mean uh, Tiana has, has it. it, but yeah. And she's trying to, y'all, I was like, the so Empire is barely standing and y'all doing this bullshit. Y'all already know the problem that they got. I mean, pretty in much. In the public. <laughs> you really doing this pro bono, to yeah. be honest, until they make some money. For real, for real. So, Hakeem Peep Game, and he went ahead and sent Bella over there to kind of ease the tension a little bit to get the focus off of the cat fight it ain't last too much longer because they started pulling touching hair and all mm -hmm. you know somebody don't touch hair no and don't don't do this don't put hands and face because that's yeah. when you get a, 
real quick. Dish for disrespect. Like for Mike B said. Like Mike B said. So then Becky had to end up coming on the red carpet. Was like, listen, girls, girls, girls. I said, y'all hood rats. <laughs> this is what we do. Y'all barely got a job. Yeah. And now y'all on the. Just Cause like, treasure elusive them barely let you back in the door. For real. For real. <laughs> they said it with your unloyal tail. <laughs> <laughs> So early in the episode, Lu um, Thurston had been telling Lulu, listen, we got a problem. We got a problem and you need to go and check out the situation. Well, the situation was Mama Lucius. Mm -hmm. Mama Lucius is down there giving them the business. So they got to have double staff to deal with her. <laughs> and not only that, you expect me to deal with her and you ain't even paid up. Yeah. So we need some more money. So he came through with some more money and was like, Gave him a bad check because they ain't got no money. That's what I'm saying. Where y'all keep getting this? Where did Andre get that money from? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, y'all pull it a whole lot of money. But see, Andre's not more smart than him. He's CFO, Chief Financial Officer. I'm pretty sure he got some money stashed somewhere. When his wife dies, I'm sure he got got shown some money. Showing policy on him? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, he got Are we sure if Rhonda was real? <sighs> we didn't we have all, a funeral. Yeah, okay. We I'm didn't good, have yeah. a funeral. So we only know if this girl right here is real. <laughs> so I don't even know. I don't even know what to believe when well, it comes to Andre. Though? He over there waxing and the mama, but where the son at? Where he go? Cause he ain't real evil. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to handle it if somebody else ain't real up here. Andre is in a dream. Don't say it. <laughs> and his mind, he is just skit. He fit to take <laughs> everybody down. <laughs> but so far I like it though. I like it. Yeah. I'm here for it. So Lucius get over there. And Mama Lucius comes with the skit. Oh, do white. Mm, mm, mm. So, how does it feel to have a child that you wish never took his first breath? I said, what the hell? God, he oh, said, how the hell did you know about that? She said, your demon spawn came to visit me. It said, you just <laughs> like me. Said, you're nasty, you're evil, you are a monster. So then Lucius, I said, Lucius been doing a lot of crying here Oh, lately. a lot of crying. Lucius said, if I'm a monster, it's because you, you made, made me that, that way. way. Maybe I didn't get the love that I needed from you to be, to, be, <laughs> to develop into a proper person. <laughs> and she was like, mm -mm. the seed of evil was already in, in you. So. And basically Lucius said, on that note, mama, I put you in here to get the help so you can get the help that I can't get you. I am out of here and I am gone and he walked away <laughs> I said don't turn your back you walk away while you face her when uh -huh. you get that hard then you turn your back exactly because I was expecting Mama Lucius to really cool just, go, just bail on him so I said Lord my Lulu has so a who was just asking about what mom what was going on with mom yeah mama don't put on a few pounds uh -huh. she got a hand the natural dude looking cute with the piano streaks I said <laughs> mama I said, you may not have been paid up, but somebody was keeping you right up in yeah. there. <laughs> you know. So you were being nice to somebody at some at some point. So over there in Panama, mm -mm -mm -mm. Damon Cross is having a meeting with the guy so that they can, you know, negotiate a way to release the money that's been embezzled into his bank over there. They're talking in their language, and Cookie was like, listen. She said, I don't know what the hell y'all saying, but I know I know that it's going sour. <laughs> so what I can do is I can give you 10% of the money that's in the account right now. And I can get you um a free concert with Empire. You know that's pretty much priceless. And I say, y'all keep throwing around Empire like it's some like it's cash money rockets right but it, here. But it works though. And it worked. It worked. He was like, Yeah, you're right. And then Damon Cross was and the guy was like, no, 20%. They was like, no, 10% or you lose the business, you lose future business, and you also lose my clients as well. I was like, Damon Cross can really throw all that away? So I said, oh, I, was like, I said, oh, this okay, ain't that's a cookie. You have to open up the cookie jar if he keep on. Yeah, because he ain't doing that. that for free. No, 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 not him. So they ended up, you know, getting their way. It was a kind of a successful thing. And then him and Cookie are dancing on the dance floor. And he was like, okay, basically, I'm ready to collect. What you got? I mean, in so many words, that's what he was saying. Yeah. And she was like, oh, no, pump no. your brakes. I got to go. I'm going back to my yeah, room. You realize I'm married? He and was he like, was like, I don't chase, 
but they always come back. He said, he said, you gonna come back. You them hands them again. Hands. You gonna come back to me. To me. <laughs> And I said, Cookie, you better run for your not doing life. <laughs> so she goes up to her room, and there's a rose and a Moet um, thing of matches on her bed. And I was like, Here we go. This joke about to come out the bathroom buck naked. I thought he was in the tub, and then bubbles. I, mean, I, I, like, I had all kinds of scenarios I was like, going on in my head. This is not about to end well. And then when the knock at the door, I was I like, said, Oh, oh hey, he here. Yeah. And Lulu come through the door. I said, Sorry. where he come from? He came at the right, wrong time. <laughs> because I think Cookie was getting ready to start feeling some kind of, you know she, she ain't feeling Lulu right now. Uh -huh. And he showing her some kind of affection. I think she probably would have did it and then regretted it later. But Lulu showed up. I said, we was, like, was like, like, hide the mohead box. I said, get rid of the goddamn mohead match. Just throw it in the flow. Because <laughs> you already brought it up. <laughs> so he could be like, where the hell is this mohead box? box match keep coming from, <laughs> God damn it. And then I was like, Dame across, don't you come knock on this door while Lulu was in here. Don't yeah, you do it. Don't yeah, you do it. Don't I just knew it. that was going to happen. So he comes up and, you know, he was like, Cookie, let me show you something. And she said, why are you showing me an old crack house? He was like, I bought it. She was like, why are you, you buying crack? Why are you buying crack? Like, first of all, where did you get the money from to buy it? They got a whole lot of money for what they wanted <laughs> for, but, yeah. but they can't get it for the full, um... But who that sound like, though? Black folk. <laughs> Black folk. So, she, he was like, you know what? What we need to do is I'm going to turn this into a rehabilitation center so that we can start helping people in the community. She said, Lucius, what's wrong? What's going on with you? He said, you mama, you said, I need to change. <laughs> So this is I my heard way. You. I heard that's my way of changing and giving back to my community. And she was like, oh, okay. And then he did a baby boy. Oh, you remember on baby boy? Uh-huh. When he had hit her and he was like, I'm sorry. And he just started going downtown. That what Lulu started doing. I said, and then it just kind of went off. And I was like, it was a cute episode, but um, Lee Day. We need the business. We need, we, we, I guess we're going to find out who in the casket next week, y'all. Y'all keep playing with us with that buzz cat. Went through a whole freaking that first whole half of the season. season, and we two episodes in the freaking uh, half, the last half of the season. So I better find out who in the <laughs> casket. And y'all better week. not flip that skip around and make it Jamal. No, nah, because we're going to know that. That's gonna, too predictable. Yeah. And it's too predictable to be Andre. Yeah. I really think it's going to be Hakeem because if you really, really think about it, they ain't featuring Hakeem. Yeah, he has been kind of in the background. Hakeem been way in the background right the now. The only thing they gave him was say he needed to make the, some hits. Make some hits. And he did that little concert last um last week. But other than that, that's all that happened. So straight from the VA. The Dirty South. To, uh, to down. Holla. Holla.